we will feel today. Upper 70s at the coastline into LA and Orange County, so Anaheim, Costa Mesa, uh, all the way through downtown Los Angeles. Temperatures nearing 80 degrees. We've got mid to upper 80s across the valleys, the Inland Empire. No shortage of sunshine today. So we'll talk a little bit more about wind. The wind's going to be an issue for some communities as we head into this afternoon. Plus, how long will these temperatures stick around? I've got that answer coming up in your extended next weather forecast. That's in just a few minutes. Back to you. Yeah, we were chilling too. And then we saw the sky all red. History destroyed and an Inland Empire community still reeling over the tragedy. The J. Littleton Ballpark in Ontario was featured in several movies and was a favorite gathering place. KCAL's Nicole Comstock is in Ontario with more. It's still a mystery what exactly caused this fire. Investigators say they haven't found any evidence of arson, but they're also not ruling that out just yet. But ever since, people have been coming out here to take a look for themselves and see what happened to this field and to reminisce about playing baseball here. People are peeking through the fence at J. Littleton Ballpark in Ontario, where an early morning fire destroyed a beloved piece of local history, a piece of so many people's childhoods. I played Colt League ball here. I was like 14, 15. I'm 69 now. In fact, I always told my kids when I die and I want to be cremated, sprinkle me behind home plate somewhere. The wooden grandstand dated back to 1937, and that old-timey feel attracted Hollywood here to the Inland Empire. Several iconic movies were filmed at this ballpark, including A League of Their Own. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. But if there's no crying in baseball, this must be an exception to the rule. Sad to make you cry. Really. You want to hold on to some of the past. You want to move on, but you want to hold on to something like this. This was the plaque that the city put together for my father on the dedication. For the Littleton family, whose father the field was named after, this fire opened up an even deeper wound. This happening today is really kind of taking us back to when we lost him on his death. So it's very painful for us. Gary tells us his father, Jay Littleton, managed the American Legion Baseball Club on this field for many years. And he was a scout for multiple major league teams, including the Dodgers. He was very beloved and uh, just an inspiration for our community in so many ways. So it was a blessing, he says, that firefighters were able to salvage the metal plaques bearing his name and to feel so much support from the community. This was the start of my career in professional baseball that lasted 44 years. Nick Leva started here and went on to play in the minors and had a long coaching career in the major leagues. Understandably, he would love to see this field restored. And I hope somehow or another they rebuild it. Reporting in Ontario, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. A toddler taken by a car thief reunites with his parents after the frightening ordeal. It all started at this Ralph's parking lot in Sun Valley. The mother strapped the child in his car seat, turned on the AC, and was loading up the groceries when the suspect jumped in and took off with the baby inside. Now, the suspect then dropped him off not too far away in someone's driveway before taking off again. Police were able to safely return the child back to his parents, but that suspect is still on the run. We're learning that a big brawl at a high school football game may have led to a shooting outside of a Ralph's. A 17 year old is recovering after that shooting. KCAL's Lauren Posen spoke to witnesses in Granada Hills. Detectives are going over security camera video to try to get a better handle on the shooter. Now this Ralph's behind me is the store that the teen ran into for help. And witnesses tell us that this all took place actually a couple blocks from where we are over at the high school during a football game. Thursday night lights at Granada Hills Charter High School against Franklin High School turned into chaos in the stands. The video was blurred because underage children are in it. Investigators haven't confirmed the connection, but witnesses say this is the fight that led to gunfire. There was like a shooting that took place right here after a football game. LAPD says around 9.15, a crowd gathered outside the Ralph's Market on Zelza Avenue and Chatsworth Street during the game. We saw a bunch of like cars, 
a bunch of cops on the street. People are like fleeing, like running, and we're like, what's going on? Investigators say a 17-year-old boy was shot in the leg and ran into Ralph's for help. A mother inside the store called 911. Her daughter was down the street at the game. She didn't feel comfortable going on camera, but told us the boy kept saying he was in a lot of pain. My husband grabbed him, who gave me the dog, grabbed him and put him to the side where the freezer is and had him lean on that so he remains conscious. Granada Hills Charter High School says security and safety for students and staff are top priorities. In a statement,